get started, guys. Uh, uh, I'm happy to be here. Uh, Mark Munoz, uh, I don't know if you know his story. Uh, from Northern California, came to Oklahoma State. You know, he had a real devastating injury in high school. One of the reasons why we were real attracted to him is the way he bounced back off that injury. Almost completely shattered his ankle, came back, rebuilt it up. Uh, and of course, won a state championship while he was in, in state and white in California. Came to Oklahoma State, uh, uh, wrestled for me at three different weight classes, and ended up winning an NCAA championship at 197. Probably during that time, that year, probably the toughest weight uh, in the whole tournament. I mean, as far as the depth and the athletes that were there, uh, there wasn't any question. Uh, uh, he probably had the best tournament. And his, and his preparation leading up, up to that tournament was just unbelievable. A lot of energy, a lot of excitement. Um, and of course, uh, for him, his story went on, uh, was fighting, and now he's, he's running a club, helping a lot of young people. So that's good to see. Uh, of course, we've had a lot of good fortune with our Oklahoma guys, or excuse me, California kids. Eric Guerrero, who's from San Jose, California, has been on my staff. He's my main guy. Um, probably will be a head coach within the next two years uh, somewhere in this country. Uh, very hot commodity right now because of his, his knowledge and his coaching style. Uh, so before we get started, uh, I, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what's important things uh, that I want to see you really focus on and, and the important things that are going to make a difference in your career. You know, uh, uh, just a little bit about, about, my, about myself. I grew up in, a, in an area called Middale, Dale City, Midwest City, Oklahoma. Um, and I grew up around, you know, one of the toughest high schools in the country, and that's not the one I went to at the time. It was Midwest City High School, which was about six miles from where I lived, okay? And, and I was at Dale City. But I grew up around a lot of tough, tough wrestlers. You know, guys that went on to NCAA Division I, guys that won junior junior national championships, guys that went on and became All-Americans and national champions. I grew up around a lot of tough, tough people, okay? And that's really what this sport is. Not tough on the street, not tough in the classroom, not tough, but tough on the mat. They could bring it to the mat and they could really show a lot of uh, uh, passion in the sport, a lot of uh, eagerness, a lot of uh, attitude in the wrestling, and that's what we're talking about. Is trying to develop an attitude in wrestling. And that's what every one of you guys want us to really focus on. Okay? We don't get better unless we, we build our attitude. And the attitude of, of being a competitor. You know, the greatest wrestlers of all time wasn't always the best skilled wrestlers. It was the ones that, that, that were the most competitive. Meaning they loved to compete. They loved to challenge themselves in competition. They love to get out there and wrestle. They love to, to whether they win or lose, the competition is what they get excited about. You know, and some of you may get nervous. Some of you may get sick. You know, I've gone through it all. I, I have my oldest son, Joseph, stand up, Joe. Joe will be, uh, was a three-time state champion in Oklahoma, uh, All-American uh, in freestyle, uh, getting ready for the uh, junior uh, trials uh, to, to represent the United States. Uh, uh, this is my other son, 11-year-old Sam. Stand up, Sam. There you go. Good. Okay. Um, so I've gone through a lot. Just as you as a parent, you know, uh, I've learned to, I've learned what my dad had to go through, you know. I, I get it. There's strategies. But as parents, we got to be smart. Okay? And all we want our children to do, and if you ever get beyond this, you, you start getting a little bit wacky, okay? is to have a good experience, learn how to compete, learn how to, be a learn how to challenge people, learn how to train, learn how to work, okay? and whatever comes, if they get that, and they learn those things, whatever comes, comes. You know, maybe we don't have, not all of us are going to have an Olympic champion. Okay? Not all of us are going to have a state champion. Okay, but the things that you learn in this sport, I'm going to tell you right now, the things that you learn in this sport, I'm telling you, if you do it right, okay, your opportunity beyond wrestling is, is open. You learn to work. You learn to deal with adversity. Okay, you learn how to 
how to get up after setbacks. Okay, you, you learn how to deal with your injuries, that your season's not over, we gotta take care of them. You learn these things through this sport, okay, you're gonna be successful. There's not enough of them out there. Finding a good hard worker, finding people that are disciplined, okay? And this sport requires discipline. If you're not disciplined, it does show, okay? It, it, it will creep up on you and it, 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 you know, knock your legs from out from underneath you if you're not disciplined. So it gives us a lot, helps us develop a lot, and more importantly, you know, when we're done with wrestling, we use our mentality that we used in the sport. We're going to be real successful in whatever we do. So uh, keep in mind that uh, we got to be competitors, though. You've got to love to compete. Maybe you get nervous right now. Maybe you have anxiety. You know, I've gone through between my two boys that have wrestled, and I got another one wrestling that's not here. Um, he got sunburned at the beach yesterday, <laughs> and he's uh, crying about it. Of course, he's only six, so. Uh, I I've seen it where I have a tummy ache before I wrestle. You know? Uh, I've seen it where I don't feel good. I've seen it where I, I don't want to get up and go. You know, it's okay that you, that you go through some times that uh, you kind of struggle as you're, as you're learning how to compete. Okay, but really, always remember, it's just a match. And the better I get at that match as far as being a competitor and stepping out and shaking hands and just being excited about wrestling, you know, the closer we get to, to accomplishing the things that we want. Always remember that. You have to be a competitor. You have to love to compete. Okay? You might love wrestling right now, but maybe you don't love competing right now. Well, that comes. You've got to earn that. To become that competitor, you've got to earn that. And how do we earn that? Through discipline. As we're more disciplined in the sport, as we're more competitive, committed to whatever we're doing. You might play baseball, you might wrestle, and you might play football. That's fine. Okay? But when you find the same thing in every sport, the more you're a competitor, okay, we get closer to our goals. So when we, when we see guys do exceptional things in, in any sport, especially wrestling, Jordan Burroughs being a world champion, three-time world champion, or me winning two gold medals. It starts with I was the ultimate competitor. When I shook hands, I was ready. When I got in those tough, tough matches where I needed to take down to win, I got to take that. Okay, I got beat at times, okay? But most of the time, I was the ultimate competitor on the mat. My skill was important. It, it helped, and there's no question it made a difference. But what really was the difference for me was when I shook hands, man, I was ready to go. Sometimes we get in those matches where it tightens up, it's four to four, and we start having second and second guessing ourselves. Okay? Well, if we start second guessing ourselves, what does that go back to? It probably goes back to the room of discipline. Was I doing the proper things? That's what builds your confidence. That's what builds the competitor in you. The more disciplined you are, the greater the competitor you become. Always. You know, now, we've seen great, great athletes that didn't have to work real hard to go out there and win a lot of matches. Hey, I coached some of them. Okay? But eventually, things start to change on them. Eventually, it starts turning the other way. Okay? Because people don't respect them. If they're tying their shoes, take a timeout, you know, faking an injury, you know, people see that. What, what does it do to that ultimate competitor? It builds his confidence as he's preparing. So uh, just keep in mind, we always want to compete. We always want to be a good competitor and, and at all times be a sportsman, okay? Any questions before I get started? Okay, one of the things that uh, we, we tend to, I, I, I tend to show pretty routinely because uh, I always go back to the guys I'm coaching. I just left my room. I've got several guys training to, for the uh, world trials. I've got several guys training for the junior world trials. We just had a couple guys win the university nationals this weekend. Um, and every time I, I leave a practice or I see a practice, there's always one thing that continually comes up of what we're deficient in, okay? And as I was watching this tournament today, it came up all day long. We have to learn how to move our feet. 
I mean, a lot of times we want to go and teach skill. I'm going to teach skill today. I'm going to teach a lot of skill today. But it, it doesn't do any good if we don't know how to learn, our, learn to move our feet. Okay? And moving our feet, we take a guy like Sam right here. Come here. Okay? Who's tall, body's still developing. Okay? Legs are kind of skinny. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that in time, if I continually stress the importance of moving your feet, he's going to learn to move his feet. And then when you learn to move your feet, I'll show you how to hit a low single leg. I'll show you how to hit a great double leg. Okay? But we tend to do it backwards. We tend to teach all these moves first, and we don't know how to move our feet. Okay? We don't know how to pick our feet up. We don't know how to sprawl. We don't have to do some things. Okay? So although it's one of the most basic fundamental skills in moving our feet. There's nothing easy about it. You know, I got a lot of wrestlers that, that are fighting in that MMA. Mark Munoz, Daniel Cormier, Johnny Hendricks, you know, uh, Randy Couture, you know, but it, and every one of them will tell you, okay, going five rounds of, of fighting at five rounds of five minutes, right? Okay, it's harder to go a seven minute match harder for seven minutes. Why? Because we break down. Once you bend those knees, you've got to put time and energy into it. Okay? And I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about doing 10 minutes a day. I'm talking about if we want to get better, we got to put minutes into that. A lot of minutes. More so than boxing. More so than MMA. Why? Because they're standing up. They're not putting that stress on their legs. Once we break down, it's a whole nother ball game here, okay? We're, do we're dealing with a lot of power, strength, speed, okay? And we need to learn to move those feet, okay? You need to learn to be fluent, all right? Joseph, I, I talk about often that once he started moving his feet, he went from a guy that couldn't win to all of a sudden beating everyone. Maybe not everybody, but most, okay? And I, and I know the importance. This is where you're going to start to feel everything, your shots. And I'm going to go over things today, and I'm going to go over shots. But I'm going to go over motion first, moving our feet. Come on. Now, this is, this is things that when I was training for over that six years, probably five days a week I was putting between 20 and, and 24 minutes a week in. Okay? Not a lot, but as competition got closer, I'd put up to an hour of motion in. Now, the, thing, the difference is you've got to be in shape. You've got to be conditioned to do that. You've got to be, you know, for you guys that are wrestling, and what was the period today? One and a half, one and a half? One minute. Okay, one, 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 two, two, one and a half, one and a half, two periods, okay? Just three minutes of, of, of movement is tough, okay? Now, but when we do the motion, I'm going to exaggerate it. I'm going to have Joe exaggerate it, and what I mean by exaggerate, this is not what you're going to be doing in the match, circling. Stance, jab stepping, sprawling, creating action, okay? We're not going to do that, okay? I, I don't even care if you really use a ton of motion in your mouth. I just want you to know how to move when you need to move. When you learn how to move and you learn how to pick your feet up, guys, your shots are going to get better. Your sprawls are going to get better, okay? You can't defend anyone if you can't pick your feet up, okay? And you guys, I'm telling you, watching in here, and it's no different if I was in Oklahoma watching the tournament. I'm telling you, there's a deficiency in this that we haven't put enough minutes in. Okay? We got to put minutes into this. Meaning you practice this. You don't need a wrestling room for what I'm getting ready to show you. You got a backyard, maybe. I don't know. The houses I've seen, there's not a big backyard. <laughs> Here. Now, I have a big backyard. <laughs> uh, 60 acre back here. <laughs> you know? So, you don't need a mat. You can have a living room. You don't need a person. So, you, you can't make excuses why you can't get this done. Okay? And what you'll realize, the reason people don't want to do it, it's hard. Joseph asked me before we came in today, you're not going to do motion, are you? <laughs> <laughs> why? It's hard. It's work. Okay? But this is good work. This is what will get better. Some of you, you're, you got two right feet. Okay? We got to have a left foot and we got to have a right foot, and they both got to be coordinated, and we got to put minutes into this. 
okay? we got to put minutes in. So, Joseph, square stands. When we're talking about square stands, I'm going to run through these things fast. So, listen, square stands, everybody's a little bit different, but I'd like to back parallel to the mat. Notice that maybe a little bit of an angle here. Forearms are parallel to the mat. Hands slightly curled, thumbs are up. Simple, okay? Feet are a little bit wider than the shoulder width apart, okay? Feet are a little bit wider than my shoulder, okay? And when I'm in a square stance, that never changes. I don't bring my heels together, those type of things. When I move, I just start to move. Fluent movement. So we're going to go side to side, moving in a circle, go. Just out of square stance. Break down. Go both ways. And we don't wrestle like this. Keep going. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't wrestle like this. We don't ever do this. You know, sometimes we get confused when, as coaches. We do this and we just exaggerate it so we can get a lot of work in. Okay? I may only have to keep going. <laughs> I, may only have to circle. I may only have to circle once in freestyle. Say in freestyle, this little guy here is wrestling me. Okay? He's putting pressure on me. If I step out, what is it? Point. 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 I gotta learn to circle. Okay? If, I don't, if I don't know how to move my feet and that doesn't come fluid and quick and explosive, okay, when I keep on. <laughs> okay? This is why he didn't want to do it. <laughs> but this is, he's going to get a workout today. He needs a workout. Okay? He's wrestling in three weeks. Stay down. So, what, as you watch Joseph, keep going, as you watch Joseph doing his square stance and, and his motion, what have you seen him do? What's happened to him? Down and up. He what? Right. He raised up, didn't he? Okay? We want to get back to that boxing stance of doing this. Okay, I can do this for now, guys. <laughs> right? Okay? But as soon as I bend those knees, it's a whole new ball game. And we can never underestimate how tough that is. Okay? We want it tough. Okay? The tougher it is, the better it is for me because I'm tough. And that's the way you need to think. I'm a, I'm a competitor. I want it tough. Okay, come on. So, stretch. Alright. Come on, Trey. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go. Motion. Go. Okay, now just just looking, just come on, move, move, move. To me, as I watch him, it's not real fluid yet. I see him developing. I see him developing. Okay, I also look at his legs and I see that he's gonna. He's going to start lifting here soon, and those legs are going to get stronger, and things will start coming together a little bit more. I want it fluent, though. Don't be stiff. Relax my arms. Drop them. Bring them up. Okay? You want this glue. You want to just flow through it. I want it to look just like it's normal, like, hey, that's easy. You want to see it looking easy. And we know darn good well it's not easy. Okay? We're kind of hopping a little bit, bringing his heels together. Short the stance up. Short the stance up. Okay? We never want to really move our foot more than three, three to four inches. Okay? At the max. I used to say two inches. But I've spread it out a little bit because it, it, just over the years you realize that people do it over. Okay? Good. All right? Any questions? Simple drill. Stand up, everybody. Here we go. We're going to run through this. Everybody spread out. Ready? 